Mauna Kea and Umikoa was great, but after you learn the history and the culture of this area, ah, you just know it's the right thing. I am so proud of you, sweetheart. Everything you've done and just all your accomplishments. And I just seeing you dance up there on top and then hearing this message of that song is so beautiful. Aww. And just like this tree is gonna bloom and help people in the future, that's exactly what you're gonna do in your medical career. And I just wish you all the best. <laughs> I love you so I much. I love you, Mom. Makana. Thank you for helping me and supporting me. Yeah. I love you. Yeah. Couldn't have done it without you. Oh. <laughs> The hula I did was Laie Kavai. The significance of that song involves Gunstock Ranch. Laie Kavai is a story about Princess Laie Kavai, um, who had a father who wanted a firstborn son, and she was not a son. And so he wanted to kill off any of his daughters so he could have that firstborn son. The mother actually hid her at a watering hole here on Gunstock Ranch, and or what is now Gunstock Ranch. And that watering hole is called Vayapuka. And so in the song, Laie Kavai, that whole story is told. And so to know that I was able to visit the place that's referenced in that beautiful song, and not only that, but dance here, was so awesome. And it was it's such a privilege, really. All of the invasive species around here, their root structures are really thin, and because of that, there's a lot of runoff into the reefs. And so this will help to protect our oceans. It's more than a tree. It's, it's roots in the ground. It's returning back to the Aino, what belongs to it. It's, it's part of our legacy to our children as well. I have a child, a son, and I want him to be able to know that we have put back what has been removed. I lived in Beijing for a year of my life and I witnessed what air pollution was like. I lived in it, so this is really valuable for me to be able to heal our planet this way. It touches all of us, the story of this beautiful land and what Hawaiian Legacy Hardwoods is doing to preserve the land. And not only the land, but you're also preserving the sea and the reefs. Um, and it was just, just amazing. It is absolutely mind-boggling as to how you can be a part of sustainability for Hawaii. And we should all get on the bandwagon or the horses on Gunstock Ranch and just be a part of it. To be able to perpetuate our culture and, you know, just help the land grow and I'm just really grateful for the opportunity. You know, everything through our hands, we have we have spirit and that's that's how it relates to this. And uh, when you're pouring in the water, it's kind of putting in that mana into the, into the tree and just thinking about everything that my hands have touched and every all the people that I've loved and, you know, interacted with and being able to put that into this tree. Uh, thinking of it in a deeper meaning makes this even more important. Thank you, Dad, for everything you do. Oh, sure. I just really appreciate everything and the hard work that you've actually done for me, too. And, and you and Mom and even Nana and Papa have been so supportive of just everything. I'm so proud of you. Love <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Dad. Love you. Love you. Oh, it was unforgettable. Oh, this is a fine organization that will grow and grow along with the trees. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah.